long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. was in the era of the dice wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery Our story begins later, in Wongroft, a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Attention, Wonners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- uh! nuh -uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. Uh! Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Odd! Wait! Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now!
was. <laughs> Incredible. Nothing to it, sis. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Random rules! Random rules! That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dad. Which would reveal to them their place in the world of Randy's. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old crawl space. It worked for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's all go. the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new villages, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dice has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy. Yes, joy, that today her representative, me, the Nene Fortuna, has come to share her good news with all of you. Prepare to experience this joy, citizens, for what does a Even, odd. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. And the Queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now, roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. It had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Odd's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen up in the Sixer's palace, where, it was said, all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning. I've come. 
coming for you, sis. Hold on, Odd. Odd! I'm, I'm gonna find you, okay? More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. He even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. Something seemed different. Or was it simply that she, a portrait of Uncle Jinx, it was said he'd sailed the seven seas and then drowned in the eighth. A portrait of Uncle Jinx, a painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Onecroft, which was impressive. But none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. An image of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. An image of great, great grandfather Peters. Two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen, and she had eyes and ears everywhere. Odd shoes, little parts of her life, still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by even. She never wanted to forget her sister. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her was safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the cardmakers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate.
it was still very late. Or was it very early? And even didn't want to wake her parents. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who'd ventured too far from home. Even was too old to believe in such stories. Or at least, that's what she told herself. same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling, you're trying to find your sister, aren't you? I'm afraid the past is the past, child. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family lived. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except Even.
Whoa! Not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, Even. Hey, shut up. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Aw, that's so great. I know after Autumn had to leave, they've been more protective of you, and it's just so great to have you here to play, even. At least you're new. These two idiots are getting on my nerves. Hey, Lucky, that's mean. Aw, shucks. I know I'm not the smartest, but I try real hard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow, sensitive much? You guys are so touchy. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... You meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Oh, that's mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. You seem like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall. She's in the queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. And I think you should give up on her, even. She's a sixer now. Nobody ever comes back from that.
There. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Halt! None shall enter the docks tonight by order of Her Majesty. Uh, random rules. You can't be here, little girl. That's only more reason not to let a child in here. Why, I'd walk you home myself if I wasn't so busy guarding this area, as you can see. It's a very important job. Now run along, little girl. You shouldn't be here. Uh, the, the loading of junk onto boots. Clearly, all day long, and all year long, and all life long, there's only one thing that happens here. Junk gets loaded onto boats. Sorry, that's classified. Uh, top secret, very royal. Ah, the very idea that the queen would not share her ultimate secrets with me, a random one or security guard. No, 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 no. No, I assure you, I definitely know all the good stuff. I'm, uh, just not willing to share them. Ha, ah, that may well be true, but that doesn't mean I should untrust the queen's state secrets, which I assure you I'm definitely privy to with you. Now run along home. It's past your bedtime. Whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? Random rules, even. Random rules. Well. Well, well, well. Look at you. I see ghosts all around us, child. Ghosts of the way the world used to be. And how it could be still if the Queen were ever to die. But of course she can't. She can never die. <laughs> You've heard the good news, haven't you? The Queen is a force of nature, like gravity or death. You can't argue with gravity. You don't debate death. You just go along with her, because you know her rule is law. She is eternal. <laughs> She's never wrong. She makes the rules, random rules, and they're always right. 
It's incredible to live at the same time as such a wondrous being. I hope one day she notices me, upriding a shining spider stallion, notices my love for her, notices my worship. More than life, I just want to be her. Or to be with her, I mean. To feel her hand on my head and know she judged me and found me good. It would completely destroy me. I'd love every minute of it. One town was unique. Some who lived here were kind, treating the queen with respect, and others seemed to have been broken by her in one way or another. But it was home, the only home even had ever known. Big city life. I must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. You ever wonder what life's like in the other zone? Oh, it must be so wonderful there. Be recognized as the best of us. <laughs> I hear everyone works so hard there. It's where the magical cards used to be made, you know. Before the war, it was a sight to behold. Now, though, after the Queen ruined it trying to find those <coughs> awful rebels, it's so dreadful there. The glory of battle, yours for the taking. I could be a hero. Big city life. I oh, must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So... two-sided. I wasn't born here, you know. I was born in Forberg. <laughs> Only I turned twelve and the Queen came and made me rule. Roll myself a one. She told me I was born in the wrong town and now I'm here. And I'll never get back there again. It doesn't have to be equal, to be fair. That's what my mom always used to say. Before she... Before I... Well... It's, uh... Ancient history now. The Queen works in mysterious ways. And it's up to us to follow her rules. Random rules. I still remember how I felt rolling that dice. Knowing what was about to happen. And when it landed on one... Gosh. <sighs> I don't think it's the sort of thing I'll ever forget. By the dice, I'm haunted enough already. <laughs> I don't need more of them. See you around, kid. strange figure even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time.
even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her 